So, like uh, factorising, completing the square is another process that's taught uh, at GCSE level and is, isn't, it's not really explained as to why you would do it, okay? But it is the fact that you need to write this expression, this quadratic expression, in completed square format. Um, now, completed square format, as you've seen in the previous videos, looks like x plus a squared plus b, okay? So that there are, there are these numbers a and b that we need to find so that it fits into this format. So, in order to complete the square uh, for this expression, okay, what you do is you write x plus and you halve the number 2, the number in front of the x, the coefficient of x, so you halve it, so that would just be 1. And that is what would be the x plus a squared part. Okay? So, x plus 1, all squared. Now, when you multiply out x plus 1 all squared, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1. So what you find is that we've nailed down the x squared plus 2x bit, but what we haven't quite got yet is that minus 5. Instead, what we have at the moment is just plus 1. So in order to get from plus 1 to minus 5, I would have to take away 6. So that is how you can write this expression in complete square format. It is a case of expanding the bracket, the x plus 1 squared bracket, noticing that you would get 1, positive 1, needing minus 5, so you have to take away 6. Okay? Another way to do it, just so that you don't have to do it all in your head, okay, is that you think about um, always taking away this number squared, okay? This, whatever that number is, taking it away, uh, having squared the number. So one squared is just one, and then having the minus five on the outside. So replace the x squared plus two x with x uh, plus one all squared take away one, and then writing that so that it simplifies directly to minus six. So let's have a look at another example, because that I went through that pretty quickly. Let's say we've got um, x, oh, not in the bracket, x squared plus, or sorry, let's do uh, minus 4x plus 7. Okay? So this is the nice quick way of doing it. You halve the number... Uh, minus 4, so you get x minus 2 squared. You take away the square of this number minus 2, so the square of minus 2 is 4, so you take away 4, and you've still got that plus 7 on the end. So this is x minus 2 all squared plus 3, okay? And it is now in completed squared format. So what you can use this for is if this had been y equals x squared minus 4x plus 7, and you were asked to um, find the vertex, then what you would be able to do is you would be able to say, right, okay, I've completed the square, and I can now say the vertex is located at 2, 3. Okay, because remember, you find, uh, you change the sign of the number that's inside the bracket and leave the sign of what's outside. Okay? So that is completing the square where uh, the number in front of the x squared is just 1. In the next video we'll look at a slightly more challenging problem where the number outside the, um, in front of the x squared term sorry, isn't 1 and we need to go through a little bit more of a long-winded process in order to complete the square.